Throughout this vlog, I will be analysing both the micro and macro environment of my chosen company, finishing off with a recommendation on how they might improve their entrepreneurial marketing strategies. An earlier definition of entrepreneurial marketing outlines that an organisation must adopt proactive orientation by exploiting new opportunities in order to acquire and retain customers using innovative measures such as resource leveraging and risk management. A later definition outlines the same approach and suggests that it is considered more proactive than conventional marketing methods. It also outlines the idea that it is more innovative and opportunity driven. Despite being almost a decade apart, both definitions suggest that entrepreneurs and small businesses are far more susceptible to taking risks and utilising opportunity in order to execute the best possible marketing strategies. This differs from conventional marketing strategies which are usually adopted by by larger companies such as Tesco or Apple. A company I believe to be using entrepreneurial marketing strategies is the Belgrave Music Hall and Canteen. The Belgrave is located on Cross Belgrave Street in the centre of Leeds. It is well known for being a 1930s style venue for live gigs, serving fast food with two bars and a rooftop terrace. I'll be utilising Pestle to analyse the external environment that might impact the Belgrave Music Hall. A political factor that might impact the Belgrave Music Hall are the licensing laws laid out here in Leeds. This requires Leeds City Council to review their statement of licensing policy every five years. Belgrave currently market themselves as a late night venue which comprises two bars and a 300 capacity event space. Since the organisation rely heavily on their alcohol menu ranging from beers to frozen cocktails, any changes to their alcohol or premises licence could affect the operation of their business and therefore the way they market themselves. The statement of licensing policy reads that in the interest of residents it will not tolerate irresponsible licensed activity. If regulations are abused, the council will refuse applications, restrict hours and activities. Any increase in these behaviours may cause the Leeds City Council to change their statement of licensing policy. The government legalisation enables the authorities to combat alcohol-related crime by the enforced powers of the Licensing Act. Statistics have shown that between September 2015 to September 2018, crime rates here in Leeds have increased by over 30%. Although late night economy is valued highly here in Leeds, there needs to be a balance between late night entertainment and respecting the needs of the community. If there is an imbalance identified by the Leeds City Council, this may also cause them to change their statement of licensing policy. A socio-cultural factor that might affect the business is the increase in discretionary income. Between 1997 and 2016, disposable income in Leeds increased by 44.5%. If residents of Leeds have greater disposable income, they are far more likely to spend their money on leisurely activities. This enables Belgrave to focus more on the quality of their products rather than price alone. They're able to focus on their unique selling point which is an all-round Belgrave experience. An environmental factor that might also affect the business is the increasing awareness surrounding sustainability. In the summer of 2018, Parliament stopped purchasing non-recyclable plastics and instead opted for compostable alternatives. As a result, Belgrave might have to invest in alternative plastics, since they are currently giving out single-use plastic cups to those who are going upstairs to the staging area or the rooftop terrace. Plastics like polycarbonate and polyethylene are currently being used by businesses as alternatives to single-use plastics. Although such plastics are slightly more expensive, they can be fully recycled, making them much more environmentally friendly. This, however, might impact Belgrave's overall spending budget. Looking at the microenvironment, I will be analysing some of Belgrave's biggest competitors within Leeds City Centre. It is clear that franchise venues such as the O2 Academy already have a wide publicity existing in more cities across the UK. The O2 offer low-cost beverages and have promotions running almost constantly. However, the O2 is an exact substitute for the experience the Belgrave offers to their customers. This may limit the effect that the internal environment has on the business. The Belgrave Music Hall have adapted a unique entrepreneurial marketing style to market themselves to visitors and residents of Leeds. The company have utilised their social media platforms to promote themselves online to their customers. Belgrave have promoted themselves on sites like Facebook and Instagram to interact with their customer base, keeping them updated on recent events, competitions and extensions to their street food menu. Since Belgrave are primarily targeting the millennial market, it is likely that the vast majority of their customer base are using platforms like these, deeming this the most cost-effective way to target new and existing customers. A recommendation that I would give to the Belgrave Music Hall would be to use influencers within their target market to bring awareness to their business. By utilising influencers based in Leeds with a large number of followings on social media platforms such as Twitter or Instagram, 
Belgrave are far more likely to gain a wider customer base within Leeds. This not only relies on word of mouth, but it is also a very cost-effective method for the business to market themselves to a large group of people that might be interested in visiting their venue.